Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. It's a Friday, it's the weekend, and myself and Charlie, he's there, are heading off to Formoy. If you remember a couple of weeks back on the videos, we went to a car park in Formoy and it was full of cars. The camper van only spaces were taken up with 15 or 16 cars. Well, since that video went up, those spaces have been removed and new motorhome spaces have been put into a place called, I think it's Rahilty Road in Formoy. Now, there is a local politician called Frank O'Flynn, who is very, very pro camper and he's trying to get us spaces in Formoy for us to call in, stay the night and spend our money. A local newspaper got hold of the Charlie and Me video story. I think it's called the Avenue Press. They did a story on us on Wednesday, front page coverage and page 16, about what I said in the video, about the spaces not being policed and that it's feck all used to us if they're not being policed. They also quoted me saying that Formoy is a beautiful town and it is a beautiful town. In that article in the Avendu, they said, maybe Mr. Burchill and Charlie will come back and visit our new parking spots. That's what we're doing today. I've got him loaded. There will be a little bit of road footage, not a lot of road footage, possibly just a bit of the motorway and then coming in to where the airs parking spaces are. So there's nowhere to skip. I literally will just have us coming into Formoy from the Dublin Tipperary side and you'll get a general idea of what these spaces are like. So he's strapped in, let's kick off the engines and get out of here. Okay, initial first reaction. It's a stretch of road, two lanes, and they've shortened it by a meter and a half to give us parking. It is just the width of the B-Baw, so a standard motorhome will be okay here. There's room for about six, let's say eight vans comfortably. Houses opposite the road, a little bit of a green area there where the grass has just been cut down, which is great for dogs. Uh, there's a gate in there. There's a river just behind us. So initial reaction, I would have preferred the car park because you're not on a busy road. You just, I just would have preferred the car park. But in saying that, well done for Moy. It's a temporary, just to see how um, motorhomes get on using it. Let's see, look, we'll take the camera outside, we'll bring him out for a bit of a walk first and we'll show you where we are. And then it looks, it's the road to Lismore in County Waterford. Let's take Charlie for a walk and then we'll let you know how we get on. Okay, we're in for Moy. Let me start with the positives. There is, they're cleaning up a nice little walk area just here um, which is behind a wall the road is there and we're parked on the side of that road this way, Charlie. but they have been tidying up here it seems to be a walkway in its day which is nice I did hear a rumor that when this is tidied up this pathway might be coming out of it to make it a little bit wider for the motorhome parking but you'll get eight units easily comfortably along here I think anyway um, do you know what it's better than nothing I think I would have preferred the car park I've got to be honest 
especially if you have kids and they just jump out of the van you're on a busy road here to Lismore in County Waterford but to be honest thank you for my for giving us spaces this is a temporary arrangement to see if it is a viable thing option um, we are staying tonight so we'll see how we sleep tonight there's a little bit of a park here there's a river here I, I don't know I, I think it's nice it is only a short very very short walk into the village and I'm gonna do it at the village sorry for Myers into the town this way Charlie um, the signs up here saying don't mow I just want to go up here and see what the crack is look as I said it's better than nothing however I think it's more a day stop than an actual stay overnight you definitely wouldn't be staying for a couple of nights uh, well I definitely wouldn't be staying for a couple of nights but I do love for my there's a bit of a oh there's seats here there's bins here there's an area there for you to sit down just watch the river yeah if uh, my memory serves me right the guard station is just over there because I said in my last video the last time I was in from why was to pay a speeding ticket <laughs> I don't do much of that now anyway um, and we're going to go and get some grub. I'm hoping to speak, meet with the politician who was also featured um, in the article this week just gone in the Avenue about myself and Charlie visiting here. Seemingly it was ill-timed. Right, we're going to go and get a bit of grub and we'll chat to you later. So we've taken a walk down. Right, we're parked on the promenade, which is the Rahilti Road, which is the road to Lismore in County Waterford. We're now down in the park. Uh, I'm using this new camera, so if the audio is crap, I really apologize. I don't like it. What I do like about it is, although you hear the three clicks, you can turn it around like that. Anyway, we are in the park and it's beautiful. There's a leisure center just there at the end of this pathway. I think this is where the campsite used to be. I'm not sure. It took us exactly two and a half minutes to walk to here. There's loads of kids out playing. It's a very, very popular park. Scoop your poop, there are bins. But um, it's only a two minute walk from where we were. So I did tell you that we were making our way down to From White. Charlie, you stay there, please. And I mentioned in the video earlier that we were in the Avenue local paper and there was a local councillor politician called Frank O'Flynn mentioned in that article. And Frank is actually pictured on page 16 of said article. I'll put the picture up here again. That's him there. But here he is here with us. He take First of all, Frank, thank you for taking time out of your day to come down and have a chat with little old Charlie and me. Um, you are 100% pro getting camper vans into this town, facilities for camper vans into this town. I am and I personally feel it's a no-brainer. Uh, we've lost out in a uh, number of years. Uh, we had a very, very successful um, camper van park right beside the town and um, uh, the owner brought himself and his wife passed away. So that was a privately owned campsite? Pri privately owned. And are the facilities and the grounds still there? The, the grounds are still there. Oh. I might need some upgrading. But yeah, but... No most people onto me, especially people who own campgrounds and business people. Yes. And, and businesses in the town, coffee shops, restaurants, are saying to me, Frank, uh, there's nowhere to park. Yeah. No so... So we, we, we decided at a council meeting, I raised it on a couple of occasions. Uh, last year we did, we did a site on the other side of the town. Right, and that's it, where I was in last week's video, up uh, something hill. Up and, uh, it's beside the library car park. Yes. Now, when I was there, the camper vans were all, the spaces were taken up by cars. I know parking in this town is a premium at the moment. So they are now gone. Those spaces are now gone. Well, um, it was on trial and uh, yes. some of the feedback was that it was uh, fairly hard to access. Also, it was probably on a hill and, uh, and, uh, and some, people, uh, some of the owners said that the site uh, was actually on a on, uh, slope. Right? Yes. But, um, so the council then, uh, management, looked at uh, alternative sites. So we are trialling out some sites. So what we've done here now on the Healy Road is this. Uh, we, 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 we put in place a sit-down parking for mobile homes on um, a trial basis. Now, we'll get about eight units here. Now, you're, you're using the word sit-down because, one, there's no facilities. 
Mm. My personal opinion of here is one, it's a fantastic location because just behind us there, ladies and gentlemen, is the town. The main thoroughfare, there's a coffee shop right there, there's a park right there. It is absolutely beautiful. But there are no facilities. There's no water, there's no, no. wastewater, well, no facilities. Well, um, the council will not be putting in wastewater or um, electrical uh, yes. pipe at the moment because yeah. this uh, we are trialling out different sites and this is one we are trialling out. Now, uh, if this one fails, have we other options? We have. We will okay. then look at alternative options uh, within the vicinity of Fumai because it's important that people who pass through Fumai yeah. will get the opportunity of sitting down for a period of time, if not overnight, because we have our beautiful town park. As I said, we have the restaurants, we have our shopping streets. There's in, plenty to do. Um, Party Street, um, Cotton Street, uh, Pierce Square and Brian Brew Square. And we have some um, very, very good... The park here is beautiful. And we're very lucky in Fumai that our town park is actually right inside in the heart of the town. Yes. Uh, a lot of towns is on, on the edge. So it's very, very accessible. It's uh, also a playground there. And where uh, people could spend three or four hours of their leisure time enjoying it. Uh, there's a swimming pool there also. If this is not successful as in not used you're not knocking it on the head no, there's, no, there's no, other options no. oh, uh, my which will be tried. is that we would get um, a satisfactory right. agreed location okay. for future camper van okay. parking in for my frank thank you for your time i know you're a busy man i really do appreciate you coming down thank you we're going to stay here tonight and what i'll do is i'll let you know tomorrow morning whether I slept or not, here on the promenade under a Healthy Road, which is the, it's the Lismore Road, isn't it? It's from my to Lismore. Okay, guys, it's 10 to 9. Birthday boy there. By the way, he celebrated his ninth birthday on the recording of this, the 22nd of April. He's fast asleep. We've just been out. He's had his wee. Now, where we are parked on the promenade, there are lights, street lights on that side of the road. There are two street lights on this side of the road, but they're not working. There's one just across the road from us here. As I say, it's five minutes to nine. There's still a bit of traffic on the road. It eased off at about quarter past eight. However, just behind us, there is a electronic speed limit that tells you 50 kilometers an hour and what speed you're doing and they're coming down here at 60 and 65 kilometers an hour. This is a heavy van and cars passing at speed are shaking it. Let's see how we sleep. We've just watched Project Amber making their way towards Portugal. They got as far as halfway to Santander. Um, as I say, nine o'clock, it's still pretty busy. I got a couple of messages on Instagram this evening from families saying that they would never stay here it's too dangerous another chap a good buddy of mine rang me when he saw the photograph up on Instagram and said oh my god you're on a main road what if your rear ended and I went thanks for that I'm sleeping in the rear of this thing he's gone look so I'll tell you how we get on in the morning again thank you to Formoy Town Council for giving us these temporary spaces, but I really think you need to find us somewhere safer, off a main road, and then if you can, give us facilities like fresh or gray and black water disposal, please do, but if not, I just don't feel safe here. I'll tell you how we get on in the morning. He's gorgeous, isn't he? So guys, it is 10 past seven Saturday morning. We've just spent a night on the promenade, the Rehealthy Road, Lismore from my road. We went to bed about nine o'clock last night. Cars didn't stop till 11. Um, then they started again about a quarter past six. So. Okay, as Frank said in the interview, this is a set down. This is not somewhere, especially if you have kids, where you're going to pull in and stay the night. Unless you are making your way to somewhere, it was night time, you were tired, and you literally weren't hopping out of the van with the exception maybe to let your dog out for a whiz. For Moy has everything going for it, as Frank said in the interview. There's shops galore, eateries, drinkeries. The park is beautiful. If you pulled up here in an afternoon for a break, Get the kids out safe across to that park. It's two and a half minutes away. Fantastic. Yesterday when we were in it, 
there were kids playing football, mums and dads sitting under the canopy, others using the exercise machines, kids in the playground, and couples and dogs just lounging on the grass. It was beautiful. However, it's not an air, it's a set down point. You would only, I think, stay here like we did last night if you arrived here late or if you just want to pull in, literally head down to the first pub, the Avendu here, have a few drinks, get a bite to eat, come back and go to bed and get up early in the morning like we have done. That is it. I am Aaron from Charlie and Me. That is Charlie, whose birthday was yesterday. Um, in from why? In the new parking spaces. We will talk to you from a campsite very, very soon. Remember, if you do see us, please do call over, say hi. We've got stickers, we've got pens, and we now have merchandise for sale. You can find out more on our Instagram, Charlie and Me, our camping vlog, or indeed you can email for more information here about our t-shirts and soon to be doing mugs as well, but t-shirts and hoodies and polo shirts at the moment. That is it from us. Take care of yourselves, bye-bye.